I got a good one for you though, Gip. From the outside looking in, for most people looking at hip hop, they see that fame and they want that fame so bad. They see that money and they want that money so bad. But what are the realities of having that kind of fame that folks think that they are chasing and having that kind of money that they think that they are chasing? It's almost like being a hair, uh, 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 a crack addict. And I'm going to put it in that way because you got to look. When we signed our first record deal, it was for $20,000. Mm. Gippy got five thousand. I burnt that thing up in the flea market in Greenbrier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got, <laughs> hey man, you know I, I put some rims on the lack, put a new paint job, and got Come me on. a grill. Boy, yeah. five thousand, we're gone. I was bad broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it made me go in there and do soul food. I was like, shit, I got my, you know what I mean? I, I look a little better, but it still hurt. <laughs> I still had the pain in there. But think about it. You can walk in. You can walk in the house with these folk, and they write you out a check for six million dollars. That's just another kind of game. It's like these kids. You see it all the time. You go on the Instagram, they just standing there with a stack of money like this. Like, why I told them folk to cash it out, so I My cashed God. out. And you looking at it like, hey man, you might not never see that money again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause you got to look when they get in the. He's like. You getting a six million dollar check? You like them niggas ain't thinking about no taxes. No, them niggas spent half that shit at Icebox. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and with the Icebox they gave them for two, three hundred. Yeah, you know what I mean, cash, cold cash. You know My what God. I mean? And you be like, man, you know that jury gonna get old in two months. You gonna take three pictures and they gonna be like, that jury old, oh, Sean. That's, <laughs> that's you know a boss. You know what I mean? Then, and then I be like, but them ain't no VVS, man. That's that Morse night. You just Morse didn't know. Ah. You just didn't know, man. They got me a couple of times. You yeah. don't know. They hit you with the, the diamond tester. That thing beep. That thing bust stop. That's that game. So you gotta look. Most of the time, when they give us this kind of money, they are already lining you up. They like, okay, we're gonna give we're gonna give them six million. Line the lawyer up. The lawyer gonna get about five hundred. Okay, who taking care of the money? Oh, line them up with a uh, account. Now somebody else holding your money. You know what I mean? Okay. You went from not having no bills to somebody paying your bills, right? Now you mm -hmm. went from not having nothing to now you got a big old house. You you young blue, yep. right there, you, you know what I mean? We went from not having <laughs> to, I nine bedrooms, yeah, you know, ten cars outside, yep. like you know what I mean? Yeah, but all I'm saying is, think about this, y'all. Once these record companies get off you, they not coming back. Once these folk who came and got your publisher, once it ain't no more hits, ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. So you might not never have another way to get back to the memes again. So what do you do? You crash. Mm. You gonna crash. Whew. You gonna create more crash dummies doing it this way than loyal artists. Yeah. LA Bird feeded us all the way. <laughs> <laughs> L.A. Reed, sucker, don't play. Yeah. L.A. Reed, baby face in there. Ooh. What? Bring me some music, I give you some money. Yeah. You ain't got no money, you ain't got no music, I ain't got no money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but, but think about it. These kids, they get six million, they be like, man, fuck them vote. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to see them vote no more, man. We put that shit out ourselves, y'all. We yeah. got our own money now. No, man, you got them folk money. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got them folk money. And that's, I, I'm telling you, I see it all the time with young artists. They get that money and they act like they can tell them folk what to do. Remember now, you ain't made no money till you have made them back they money and some more. Yeah. So all the money and all the Verado you got and all this, that they money. Yeah. They ain't even your money. That's an advance. So when I'm looking at a lot of these people around here that they, Call influencers. You like, man, come on, man. These folk, these folk, corporate mascots. Mm. They turn the whole game into, hey, man, I mean, the artist ain't even got out good, but they ain't got a goddamn uh, Puma commercial. How? <laughs> we don't even know you. 
You know what I mean? So now we use an artist <laughs> as mascots for a product. Yeah. So it ain't about the music no more. You know what I mean? It ain't about the music. It's about how much, how many times we can we can sell you off. Yeah. That's livestock, pimp. Yeah. I ain't doing that. 